Right, good afternoon. Roxy's Journal of Stitchery. I nearly forgot it. Um, yeah, I'm hoping the volume's going to be better. I've shut the window, so I'm going to talk louder. So I keep getting complaints that nobody can hear me. So, uh, right. Christmas tree and snowflake. And I've just remembered I didn't stamp my snowflake. snowflake. I was going to do a snowflake stamp. Anyway, um, I'm going to do a pink one, obviously. I've been stitching some of my weird and wonderful thread things that I do. <laughs> so um, I had a bit left over of the pink. Um, so I thought I'd use that. And I don't know, kind of make like a stick tree. I sort of laid it out last night and I was like, mm. but I was thinking couch it down. And then I've got some red sequins, which I thought might look, I don't know if they're going to show up actually. Yeah, I don't know. I've got some mini bells here as well. I quite like those. Let's just stitch this down first. So, anyway, I hope you're all really well. I hope you're having a good day. It's Monday here today. I'm going to fluff off there. Um, yeah. It was my birthday this weekend. I shall bore you to death and tell you about my weekend. <laughs> Um, I'm going to do, I think, chain stitch, I think, is what I'm going to do. Um, are you going to stay still, or am I going to get a wonky tree? Um, I might get some pins, bear with me. Okay, I've started huffing and puffing already on boiling. <laughs> But I want you to be able to hear me because I should imagine it's very frustrating. So if you can't hear me this time, then I'm afraid it must be your audio system because <laughs> I'm certainly talking up this time. I really want this to go straight, so well, ish anyway. Yeah, these threads, I think I did a video a while back on how I make these. Um, so yeah, I just get a sort of an assortment of threads and novelty yarns and things like that and just sew them all together. So um, yeah, they're, they're in the Etsy shop if you feel the need for some. I can't remember, did I? I think I did two metre lengths. I can't remember. Have a look. Right. So I'm going to couch down with white and chain stitch because I'm hoping it will kind of look like snowy. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Might not. Uh, it can only go wrong. Never mind. So yes, I had, um, it was my 60th birthday. So uh, my daughter just said to me keep Saturday free because it was on Saturday so I had no idea what they were planning um, but it was really nice we had like a an afternoon tea at my youngest daughter's house and then and that was really nice because um, two of my daughters have got partners and two have got children and um, yeah we all just sat around chewed the fat like you do um, and then had a very light lunch because they booked the table for I think it was half past five, which is a bit early for me for dinner, but you know it was, it's their thing. So um, so yeah, then we went to an Italian restaurant in town, which is very expensive, but um, they wanted to go there, so that's fine. And uh, yeah, we had a we had a lovely meal. And it was just nice, you know, having a family get together. If you follow me on Instagram, you'd have seen the photo I put up. It was it was really good fun. We had a really nice sort of early early dinner, which ran into evening y type things. So yeah, it was good. So that's it. The big six O. Oh, I don't know how that happened. <laughs> I still feel forty. You know, say to me. Yeah. 
just a number that's all it is because I feel I feel fitter now than I did in my 50s actually because I've stopped doing all the gym stuff and that so um yeah when I say gym stuff I mean it's just Pilates and yoga <laughs> none of this physical lifting weights malarkey mind you in Pilates she's got us doing um sort of weight bearing on our arms and that is like press ups and things but not press up press ups it's a bit more genteel but um yeah it's really shown that i thought my upper body strength was quite good but it's actually showing that it really isn't <laughs> so i'm like mm, it had me sweating this morning it was a little bit warm in there i think it was 34 degrees and because it's not air con air conditioned the bottom part the top bit is where you do all the weights and the running machines and things like that but um yeah they need to get some air conditioning down there so because they get free solar uh, they got like solar panels all over the roof so i know it's not going to cost them a fortune to do so so uh, yeah they've got to do something especially if this you know if the world is going to carry on like this i'm just yeah it was a little bit warm in there and that was this morning at half past nine that's how ridiculous the weather is in the uk well and europe as well it's not just us you know no rain for gosh it must be two months now i've never seen it so bare i mean i lived through the the drought we had in 76 when i was um a teenager we um we lived in norfolk at the time and i remember the water bowels are coming around the water lorry and um my mother kicking off <laughs> she was not impressed yeah but, you know and, and that was only i think we had six weeks of really dry weather but yeah <clears throat> they never spoke about climate change back then did they so back in the you know the old days <laughs> Oh, sorry, I didn't tell you, actually, the background fabric is, um, it's off of uh, one of those chair back things. I think, Louine, you gave me this. So I just trimmed the lace back and cut my usual square. Um, I don't know if I want to add anything to it. I've got, um, I don't know if you follow my paper crafting bits and bobs, but um, I'm doing a series at the moment, uh, which is Use It or Lose It. And I did think I'd come to the end of it, but then I remembered I've got this big mess in here, which I keep putting stuff in. And I thought, right, that's the next thing. So I'm going to do a load of fabric clusters, I think. Um, and again, carry on the use it or lose it because it's just, you know, I keep cramming stuff in. Stuff that I love, you know, like fluffy edges of fabric. These are some of my, oh no, I think these are the sari silk recycled sorry silk somebody gave me um i mean i've got some lovely bits in here you know bits of um um happy mail that people have given me and, and it's just criminal it's got to be used so oh look at that oh i could have used that hang on design change <laughs> oh, i don't know i mean it's meant to go that way obviously but that could be oh, shall I? Oh gosh, that's really tempting, isn't it? No, I'm gonna to stick to my plan. But that is you're probably all screaming at me going, No, do it. <laughs> I'm just looking for some um decorative bits and bobs. Sorry, it's gonna go in shadow because um yeah, the weather can't make his mind up today. One minute it's threatening with chucking it down with rain and the next it's bright sunshine again and 32 degrees. Which is bonkers, quite frankly. Um, I just want some little... See, that might look nice as a little garland, mightn't it? I might have enough of that. I've got to put a little tag on. I've got um, I've got some sequin holly leaves, and I thought I'd just really simply, but I might do something a little bit bigger. I've just watched um, just watched Ray, um, Roxy Creations, Rock, uh, oh, 
Rachel at Roxy Creations. I will get it out. Um, doing hers, and she's um, done sort of like some big fabric cluster type things. I thought, oh, yeah, I could do that. Let me get that out of the way because it is causing a shadow. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do another use it or lose it and use this stuff up because, like I say, it is getting slightly beyond bonkers here. Oh, got a nice bit of rust dyed fabric there. I'm just wondering about some more background stuff. That's all. Does it need it? Might not need it. I don't know. I'm quite envious, you know. I've watched Sarah and Rachel, but I'm just quite happy to do quite plain, you know, quite simple. That'd be quite nice. See, I've got the lace on the other side. There's me tweaks. I'm just going to play around. Sorry, bear with me. Does it need it? I might put some little um, Suffolk puffs. I'd like to find them. They're in here somewhere in this room. <sighs> That's the other thing. You get to the point where you can't even breathe. You've got so much blooming stuff everywhere. It's quite nice. The coffee dyed stuff there. Right, I don't want you. Make a nice tab actually. I don't know. I completely digressed there, didn't I? I just want I just want some bits. Maybe a bit there. I don't think I want blue or do I? Yeah, so anyway, as I say, I'm going to do another uh, um, session of Use It or Lose It because this is just crazy. It has to go. Sorry, I'm talking low again, sorry. <clears throat> Let's stay. Thank you. See? Obstinate. That there. I don't know why, but I like the blue. There's a little bit of sort of bluey purple in here. Might not need it. I'm tempted to go that way and just get them straight. Slightly longer. A bit sort of um, um what's it called? Like Nordic. Or do I just slightly? Oh, come on, Susan. For goodness sake, make a decision. Right, I am. Um, that's going to go there. Anyway, I hope you're all well. Um, and welcome if you're new here. I like to show you it as it is. I'm always making mock-ups and how to fix them. Um... I'm absolutely rubbish at editing, I've decided. I have tried a program on the analogue phone, because I don't have an iPhone, and I don't want to go to that expense, or an iPad. Um, yeah, so, yeah, I like that. Yeah, that's it. To me, that's so simple. So, so, so simple. <laughs> um, I'll think about that. Right, let's get these down. Always trim it, can't we? If we go slightly off kilter, just want to hold them just for a bit. I did put some uh, interfacing on the back of this because um, it's incredibly floppy fabric, and I knew it'd be a nightmare to stitch if I didn't. So um, yeah, I just put a bit of um, sort of dressmaking interfacing white fab uh, interfacing. God. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. That, that stuff on the back there. 
Right. Okay. A little bit of a wonk, but it's fine. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Right, this is the um, cheapy version of um, DMC and Anchor. It's that prism stuff, but I like it because I don't know if you can see, it's got a slightly woven effect to it. I don't know if you can see that. It's, it's not as flat as uh, the other threads. So I just thought it would look all right. And so far it is. Yeah, presents why I told the girls not to get me anything um, and you know they paid for the meal so that's that's fine um, yeah there's just there's just nothing I need I'll be honest with you I keep thinking oh yeah I could do with such and such I mean I'll give you an example I went to Ikea with my youngest she would she rang me it was Sunday obviously yesterday and um, her partner had gone into town with his mate because uh, they're getting stuff for best man you know to wear as best best man because they get married in september and uh, she's like oh i'm really bored and i said well do you want to do something she went oh i don't know because like me she works from home now and well she has done since covid and they're gonna she's gonna continue to work from home and she said you know i just want to get out i said yeah i understand that because you know when you work from home i mean i <sighs> I understand it but I've got a craft room you know and she's not like that at all she's not um I don't think she could stand the mess she's not a minimalist but she just I don't know if it, whether it is because they've grown up with it um their father was quite derogative about this stuff that I do head season x now but um yeah it was all like you know and I said to her you know it's it is good fun, but she can't, she just can't get into it, you know, crafting at all. My eldest does, she does a lot of stuff. Um, she's better at the sculpting side of things though, so, um, yeah, so anyway, I said, um, I rang her, well, she rang me or said, are you doing anything today? And I thought, well, no, I'm not actually, I was going to get on and do this, I'll be honest with you, but, um, she said, oh, I'm really bored and what have you. So I said, well, um, in my recent change around in my craft room, I was missing a worktop. So I said to her, well, I could do it going to Ikea and picking up a worktop. I had picked up a bit of wood from somewhere else, but it wasn't very nice. And it wasn't thick enough to make the desks how I wanted them, you know, to be all the same level. So she said, oh, OK. So I said, well, we can do a quick run to Ikea if you like. So we went to Ikea and he spent... Oh, I bought the worktop. That was it. And I think that was £17. I'd never spent so little in Ikea in my life because I just wandered around and I was like, yeah, I don't need that. I know it's naughty. I'm dragging my threads across the back, but that's fine because I want the chain to go up that way. Uh, yeah, so I just £17 in there. And then I went to Dunelm, which is a uh, furnishing type store because... Um, I needed some new pillows. Mine have got a bit... They don't last very long, do they, pillows? So I bought myself some nice new bamboo ones. Well, no idea if it's going to be different sleeping on those. And some new fitted sheets. And that's about as exciting as my shopping was. Oh, and I did pick up some fabric. Because what I like about Dunelm is they have, like, um, show curtains. You know, like... Um, well, yeah, it's just one curtain. And you can sort of look at it and feel the fabric etc uh, and when they when that goes off of sale they sell off the little curtains well i say little they're not that little um they did have some i didn't pick any up though because i've recently picked up a load of stuff and um but i did pick up some netting type stuff i can't i'm, I'm saying stuff a lot but it is just stuff i can't describe how how else to describe it um yeah, so I picked up some of that. It's not dissimilar to this, you know, sort of like netting-y type stuff. And that was like, I think that was a pound. Yeah, it wasn't expensive because it was like a remnant, really. And um, oh, actually, I might, look at the way that's going. I might do that little that kinky bit at the end. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so we did that. And I, as I say, I just got some 
new sheets and some new pillows really boring stuff isn't it but you know you get to the point and you just uh, i'm just trying to think now i need to i need to end that um uh, yeah you just it's just stuff and i've only got a little house <laughs> it's only it's a two up two down as a classic you know british small house basically and um yeah, there is a limit to how much stuff I can get in here. I will do a video of my craft room and you'll see just how much I've got in this little room because it's not... I must measure it, actually, but I think it's only... I think it's three metres... It's probably about three metres long by two metres wide. I don't know what that is in feet and inches. Um, but, yeah, it's not a massive room. So... Um, my bedroom's bigger and I could fit my bed and that I could I could move in here and have this as my bedroom but if I had the bigger room as my craft room you know what would happen the craft stuff would accumulate and breed and it would just be yeah so it would all just go a little bit wonky and I'd have far too much stuff now I want you down so um, yeah, so I limit myself. I make myself limit myself. So, having said that, though, I am off to the West Point show in Exeter in September. So <laughs> I go there and I'm like, I don't need anything. I don't need anything. I still come back with a bag full of stuff. Although I am getting better. Last time I struggled. Um, I struggled to find anything that I needed. I'll be honest with you. So. Yeah, we used to get all the big they might it might be better this year because it was only really the first year after covid last year wasn't it but um we usually get all the big suppliers come down and stuff like that but oh we'll see the trouble is they make those shows so expensive to have a stall so yeah it's a little bit crazy And craft fairs are getting the same. I mean, I've got one on Thursday, which is the first one I've done in two years. Um, uh, but I get a reduced rate because I'm classed as a local, which is great. Um, but yeah, even their prices, you know, they're putting it all up. And you get to the point where you just can't, and you think, well, you know, I'm not going to make the profit or the right amount of profit to... Um, pay for the table do you think it's going to make any difference if i just go up and over I'm just trying to think if it will should i try it it seems a shame i'm wasting quite a lot of thread that's all let's give it a go see if it see if it looks patterns take it out if it does Yes, I'm encouraged to carry on with the use it or lose it campaign. Um, I didn't actually think many people were watching it, but then I've had quite a few comments. I think it was yesterday, a lot of them popped on saying, you know, carry on with it because it's great to see somebody else using their scraps. It'll spur me on to use mine type thing. So I'm like, right, okie dokie. But I do need to attack my little scrap basket there. Because it's not only a basket, I've got a box like that as well. And it's all little bits. I mean, I do use them. I use them on my bags and things that I make. But, you know, I'd have to make an awful lot of bags to use up what I've got right now. So, that looks alright actually. I'm going to just do that. Go up and over. Right, one more. It's all right with you. I'm gonna make this quite a long one. I just wanna. I need to get this done because um, tomorrow I've got plans to sit and do a load of sewing on the machine, which you know would be pretty boring to film because I'm just making bags after bags after bags. Although I have emptied out my understairs cupboard where I store all the stuff for my craft markets, and there was rather a lot of stuff in there actually. I was quite surprised how much I had left. So. I've boxed up all my soaps this morning, so they're all ready to go. And 
yeah so about it really I like to make up sort of like all the off cuts and stuff I like to make up little boxes and they usually sell really well because people like them because you end up with a piece of soap probably I don't know about that big but square um, and they're great little hand soaps you know or um, uh, visitor soaps type thing <laughs> you know what I mean uh, yeah see I know I've got uh, one customer well they they order every now and again and they buy they have like a a holiday park and they buy a whole slab basically and they cop and chop it up themselves because I think they chop it quite small um, and they always go for the uh, lemongrass and lime because they said it makes their um, chalets sell out really lovely because it's quite a um, it's quite a, quite a scent it's not, a, it's not an essential oil like some of my soaps it's a but it is lovely it's lovely and clean come on why aren't your hands working right I'm too worried about going wonky oh, I've got to stop worrying yeah I don't know if they'll be there this year because um they ordered some last year they said oh we'll be um yeah, they said that you're doing the show, but I saw it's not on this year, so I had to post it to them. So it weighed a lot. Oh man, the pin needs to come out. needs to chop off just a tad doesn't it and those are the clover applique pins if you're wondering what they are little diddy ones that's Anne Brooks fault she introduced me to those <clears throat> right you stay there right, you need to stop twizzling because that's really annoying my daylight lamp on again I say it is threatening thunderstorms but we don't seem to be having any and boy do we need it my poor granddaughter we um oh after we had our lunch on Saturday the the kids were sort of getting a bit etchy so we um, took them down the river and let them run around in there like crazy people for a, an hour or so and um Eleanor, my granddaughter, she, you know, swims, dives, crazy person she is. Um, and she obviously swallowed some of the river water and she was really ill yesterday. So I said to my daughter, you know, don't let it go on. Keep her well hydrated. But yeah, she just couldn't keep anything down on Sunday, bless her. And she's one of those kids, she's so robust, you know, she rarely gets ill. And she's kind of like me as well. We don't like being ill. So, um yeah we'll just get rid of the fluff because it's decidedly fluffy right where is my lamp see change your room round can't find a thing um i don't know i can't see it <laughs> oh it'll turn up right okay i'm hoping it's still right for you guys i think you can see right there we are one little tree didn't quite look like snow maybe I should have done blanket stitch but it's okay it'll be fine so what I was wondering was I don't think it'll show up even I'm just doing a French knot in the middle of them that's kind of what I was thinking not really going to show up are they oh, oh dear um might just have to be bells and maybe we just embroider the little 
So this I thought might really be pretty as kind of like a bunting. Not bunting, like tinsel, you know what I meant. quite pretty isn't it right let's do it don't think about it just do it right okay um what should i stitch it down with that's the question um Maybe just ordinary thread. Let me just get some hot. It's a big stretch. Are you still seeing all right? Because it is getting half a dark. I was quite bright on screen. Okay. Lost my needle now. <laughs> Where are you? Oh, there you are. It's not the right needle for this thread, but it'll do. That's one thing that I will pick up at the show is some more um, chenille needles. Because I've managed to bend two. So... Well, that was really... Good bit of knotting, well done. So I'm just using ordinary sewing cotton here. I think if we start it about here. Oh. Obviously you need a bigger knot. Try that again. Yeah, I must start making my little list actually. I do like to make a list. Because I get there and it's like, ooh, pretty, ooh, shiny. And then I come out and I'm like, oh, I didn't get that and I didn't get that. And yeah, I kind of get angry with myself <laughs> being easily distracted. Totally unconventional colours, but you know, whatever. A friend of mine did have a pink tree once. Yeah. Slightly cheating using a pre made. Thing, but you know if you've got it use it why not
I don't think there's much else I need to sort of talk about. Um, no, that's about it really. No more deaths in the family. I think I told you about my... Um, well, I call her auntie, but she wasn't. She was my dad's cousin. So... He is making noises about moving down this way at long last, so, but we'll see. He's such a stubborn person. <laughs> I'm not like him at all. Um, but yeah, he uh, he's one of these, if you push him, he'll just go the complete opposite way. So he sort of mentioned the other day, well, keep an eye out how much your bungalow's down there and all this, that and the other. And I said, well, I can tell you roughly how much they are, Dad. I said, let's face it like this, when you sell your house in London, you'll have quite a lot of change, but, yeah, I'm not, um, I'm not pushing him. He's 89, and, you know, still very, sort of, I guess for his age, quite fit and healthy and all the rest of it, and, um, and the trouble with him is, he was a, you know, he's a Londoner born and bred, and I think there is something that, you know, makes him not want to leave the capital i don't know why but because personally i'd never live back there but um it, it's weird it's almost like a fear of missing out on something i don't know what he thinks he's missing out on because you know there's not much there's nothing up there for him now he's got no family up there now that his cousins died the other one i don't think it's going to be long so i've only got four i've only got three I don't think I like the green ones. So I've got one, two. I've got some little diddy copper ones. Yeah, I definitely, I don't like green. There you go. Two. I have got some silver ones. Let me grab those. Santa's coming. Oh, just looking in here. What yeah, they're my smallest ones. Maybe we'll have those at the top, those in the middle, and those at the bottom. Will you just, no, stay. <laughs> you will stay. Oh, you know where I'm back. Okay. Because for the top, I've got this, I think it's a scrapbooking style. So I thought that would look quite nice at the top. So the silver bells will work well. Because they'll bring the silver in. And then maybe with that really nice silver thread that I found, um, let's move you guys out of the way. Um, right, okay, I run out of room. <laughs> oh, I'll give myself a bigger desk and I filled it. Um, yeah, because I had that lovely silver thread. I think it's a tatting thread. I think I sussed out. It's because um, I saw on here somewhere about tatting. Um, I saw it somewhere, <laughs> but it's Z I E R L I T Z E, and I think it was a tatting, but it's really nice, as you saw. Um, do I like that? Can't decide. Bell's a bit manky. Let's get rid of that one. Yeah, I've got another copper one. I was going to say I could do one, two, three, one, two, three. That could go there. Because that's going to have that there. Probably with a little button on it. I think that'll be right. And then maybe 
with that. I'll just do some French knots to look like baubles or something. There's not much stitching on this, is there? But again, yeah. Don't know if it needed it, really. I know some people with an awful lot more time than me spend hours on these, but yeah. Let me shift you the all that way. Yeah, sadly I don't have lots of time. Right, can you just thank you? Right. Okay, copper ones. So for you first of all. I know it's naughty, but I don't want to keep stopping and starting. Going under the interfacing, so hopefully it will look me anyway. <laughs> If there's a cheat's way of doing something, you can guarantee you'll find it on this channel. <laughs> oh, shocking. Still got to find something for my daughter's wedding. She's like, what are you wearing, Mum? I said, I haven't got a clue, love. I haven't even thought about it. Um, yeah, I'll have to find something. The trouble is, I just don't, you know, I'm not a dress wearer. I'm not a dressy dresser. I just, I am a bit of a slob, really, to be honest with you. Um, I'm your classic. I'm quite happy to sit around in me, um, baggy trousers and a big sweatshirt and that is from working from home I'll be honest with you as soon as lockdown hit you know I stopped having to wear office gear because you know obviously we weren't going into the office and um yeah <laughs> it uh I've never been a clothes horse though I'm not I'm not uh I'm not one for, well, I could never afford it. You know, I had the three kids and that, and um, there was never any spare money for expensive clothing. I seem to remember once I bought myself, I'd, um, after my third child, I'd put on so much weight when I was pregnant with her that I went on, um, I think it was the Rosemary Connolly slimming thingy, you know, and um, I lost loads and I felt so good. It was great. Um, so I did, I remember, I just got a little part-time job because Caroline had started school and it was in the local little shop and um, I got my first wage packet and I thought, oh, I'm going to buy myself a pair of chinos out of Gap. Oh, it felt amazing, it did. So I was like, oh, yay, I can afford clothes. I did feel, very, I, I felt it, I felt it was very extravagant of me, I'll be honest with you. Because, um, you know, I've always been one of those people that if my kids ever needed anything, they got it first. And then, you know, I was always second. So, and it's the same now. I'm exactly the same now. If my kids need anything, I'll think, well, you know, I don't need that electronic physics machine. <laughs> I do, but I don't. So, I want it, but I don't need it. So, yeah. My uh, my daughter's cat got run over. He's fine. He he's he is fine. But 
you know the vet was like even though she had him insured the vet said no you, you've got to pay us 250 quid before we'll let you take him out because the insurance hasn't paid up yet and i said to her, are they having a laugh and she said no it's that particular vet she said they're an emergency vet and blah 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 i said well i think they're taking the mick love quite frankly but um, um do i want to put that middle one on i suppose i ought to i should have done that on the way across shouldn't i mm -hmm, wally so yeah she's like because uh, she's just started a new job and of course she gets paid at the end of the month and uh mum could you lend me i was like yes of course i can lend you gold i said to him then actually when we had this um sort of like afternoon tea at caroline's i said to him why don't you ever ask your dad for money <laughs> and they said because it's always no he won't lend us anything i said no uh, right I think that is because too many times they've not paid him back and he's just as tight as, you know, they think I'm tight, he's even worse. But people with it usually are, aren't they? So, because he isn't a poor man. He's a very silly man, but there you go. Right. Oh, well, yeah, I think I quite like that. That would be fine. Um, I think I'm going to end this one properly not be a cheater oh thank you If you hear my tummy groan, and I do apologise, I've got a gammon in the slow cooker. And you know what that does to a house. Yeah. And my stomach is just sort of thinking, yeah, yeah, I think I want that. And I think I want it now. And I'm like, no, 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 far too early for dinner. That is the curse of a slow cooker, though, isn't it? <laughs> You're starving, or you smell it cooking. I've doubled up the thread this time, so I haven't got to keep going in and out and in and out. I'm hoping you can see it all. I think you can. But I hope the volume's better. Um, as I say, if if it's not after this one, I, I I'm afraid you have to look at your maybe your audio system. Some people have said to me they can hear me fine. Others have said they have to wear headphones. I I just don't know. I don't know what else to to suggest. Um, it certainly plays back fine on my um, equipment. So, but I don't know. I'm you know as we know. I am very technologically disabled, quite frankly. I am not a person that knows these things. Oh, hold on. I'm glad I found these. I forgot I had them. And I went looking for a button and I thought, oh, I could put those on my little tree. And here we are. I'm hoping they do something Halloween-y because I've got some little bat sequins. <laughs> Planned up those little things. I haven't had anything to use them in yet. It's like, come on, we need some Halloween-y. My middle daughter absolutely, well, both, um, well, actually all three of my daughters, to be fair, they love Halloween. <sighs> Just, I don't know why. Did they ever go out trick? Yeah, they did go trick-or-treating when they were kids, I suppose. But I think they, they kind of got into it more when they were adults, if you like, because, you know, they have a bit of a party, don't they, bless them. Eleanor, my granddaughter, is actually born on Halloween. 
I mean, it really does ex does explain a lot of that child's personality, quite frankly, because she can be hell on two legs. But um, yeah, I know um, if you're in the states, it's massively enjoyed out there. We it's getting better here. People are like, okay, don't use your sewing scissors for crafting from the future, Susan. I've got my posh ones somewhere and I don't know where they are. I'm going to get rid of those because they're all sticky. Right. Clean those. Okay. Right, where are we? Upside down. Right. So, suitably dingly belly. I'm thinking that there. Should we do some? What should we do? Um... Have a look at my let me consult my little book. I'll just get a button while I'm over here. Hold on a minute. out let's have a look and see if there's anything in here oh this is because i keep getting asked it's judith baker montano's embroidery and crazy quilt stitch tool it's a bit of a mouthful um i got it on um amazon and rachel recommended it to us in the last series that we did there's the isbn and all that malarkey um i think it wasn't cheap it was 15 pound but then i think the unique thing about it is is that this will actually stand up it's got like a yeah and it'll stand on your work dock like that and then you can just flip your pages so yeah it's pretty cool and you get like a whole stitch index at the beginning so you can sort of the ones that i've marked are ones that i like to use but i'm just gonna have a quick nosy and see if there is anything that could resemble something for on a christmas tree or for on a tree they don't near i mean i could do another fly stitch snowflake can i oh there excuse me um do it like a lazy daisy bauble actually that's a double one so we do one inside to the um, yeah i want like a baubly shape i think so there's many baubles really we're going quite small aren't we so well i am anyway hmm. i might just do some just trying to think how can i make a a baubly shape maybe just a giant french knot or something let's give it a go let's play around with something because there's nothing in that book to inspire me When I go to this show on Thursday, um, the girl that organises it, she is a, um, a a tatter. She does an awful lot of tatting. And um, I might ask her about this thread, actually, if it's one that she recognises. She's quite the expert, but she does it with the shuttle. Oh, she's amazing. I sit and watch her in total awe. She just pounds out these bits of tatted lace and she puts them on cards and things. They look very effective. Where can I do them that they're going to be seen? How about a pistol stitch? Oh, that might work. Maybe sort of dropping down. Let's give it a go. So pistol stitch is a straight stitch with a French knot at the end, basically. 
and you can make them as long or as short as you like. I will give you a close up, do not worry. Yeah, they're kind of showing up. They're all right. I am going to be very naughty and jump around at the back of this work here. Just don't pull tight. Well done. Come on to our bunting. It's not bunting, is it? The number of wraps denotes how big it's going to be, so it's completely up to you how big the um, front, the, yeah, the French knot's going to be. So you can have a skinny little drop bit if you like, and then a big um, French knot on the end. I know what I mean. I'm sure you do too. Yeah, you can see them. They look, they look fairy lights, actually. Right, I'm going to have to be good and not drag that far across. I forgot to put a knot in it. Molly. Okay. Let's take one here. I'm just going to carry on with this, peeps. Put me on fast forward. Let's get this done. I might do my little tag separately. I'm going to get the main body of this done now, I think. And then I will, um, I forgot, I've got my wooden stamps out somewhere um, to do the snowflake. I was going to do some printed ones. So that was the plan that didn't happen. Because it has been a bit bonkers this week, quite frankly. Dragging my the mat and myself forward, aren't I? Sorry. I'm gonna see if I can find some more of this. I'll let you know if I do, because it's so nice to work with, and it's quite impactful. You know, you get quite a nice. Um, you can actually see. The um, the stitch. That's good. I like it and I've no idea I think I picked it up from somewhere I don't know where um, probably a car boot or something of that ilk or it might have been in a junk box of some sort I don't know but 
what I do know is I like it. Right, okay. We've got a little bit of sparkle going on there. Do you know what? That might be enough actually. It's a very minimalist tree. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go with that. Let's put this on. I wonder if I've got any little any little special buttons. What could we have? We could have an orange one. That looks quite nice. I don't know why I'm thinking orange, but I am. They're a bit big, a bit fat. I need one to go up to the top there. It's a thin one. Green. No, I don't think green's going to go with this, so I've got some diddy purple ones as well. I've got these really diddy ones as well. Uh, where are you? There's one. Oh, no, come here. So I'm thinking of putting that on there to hold that down. That'll work fine there. Um, Purple one there, a skinny orange. Yeah, we can go there. I don't know why I'm thinking those colours, but I kind of like it. There's another purple one. Oh, just saw one. Well, you know, you're brown, aren't you? I'm going to have to open the window in a moment. <laughs> it's time to leave it a bit warm. Oh, you? Another orange one there. They're a bit big, aren't they? Those purple ones. I don't think I've got anything. Because I think they'll be. Oh, I don't know. As I say, they might be too small, but they might not be too bad. Let's just get those out. see them can you no we'll go with those at least you can see them and i think we'll call it quits on that then right so you can get to go in a minute hold on <laughs> um right, i'm going to use white thread if i need to i can go in with my um alcohol pens and color the thread if it's if it shows it might not show which is what i'm hoping Double it up and then I've only got to do it once. And I am going to be super naughty and drag the threads across. <clears throat> Let me sit up there. Okay. <laughs> Not that one. I'll get it in a minute. Sorry, mumbling. It's getting rather warm in here. Right, come on, you're not doing a shirt, just it's a little button. Right, okay. Button. Did I have it there or did I have it there? Or there? No, it wasn't there. I think it was on top of that flower. Right. Okay. <laughs> I will have to get that one. I'll get the other one while I'm down here. Unruly buttons, the heck.
Sorry, if you're near the kids next door. Dragging it into yourself again, Susan. Stop it. Okay. Oh no, where did you go? <laughs> Get pinged. Oh, gotcha. <sighs> Let's get that through first. I'll just finish these and then um, I'll do another small shorter video for the uh, the page tab because um, I need to open the window. <laughs> I'm about to pass out I think. It's getting a bit warm. I do like that side actually on that one. It's the wrong, it's the wrong side but I like it. It's, no, whoa, it's like tiddly wings. What the heck's going on here? Where did you go? Oh, you're gone. Well, this is the video of the flying buttons. <sighs> Wait, it's my nails. They're too long. I need to cut them. <sighs> okay, stay there. Just, just for a second while I get the needle in. No. <sighs> ah, hurrah. Don't pull tight. I wonder why I thought orange. I don't know. There's bits of orange in the um, one of the threads that I use, I suppose. I don't know. Who knows? Oh, did I have another orange at the top? Didn't I have a purple? digging again hold on because my OCD's just got a, I haven't got it bad but for certain things it just has to you know I'm sure you know you'll do nicely actually a different colour I don't know you're pink you're too big I do hope my colleague's not watching this. She hates buttons. I'm cringing right now. Yeah, okay, it might have to be orange then. I haven't got another. Don't look white though, does it? Oh, see, now, here we go. This must be, oh, this one, right down there. Oh yeah. No, you're a different size, but, oh, you're not showing up. Maybe I don't need it. Let's have a look, put the star on. Before I drive everybody loopy. Right, let's put that on because I might decide I don't want another one up there anyway. And that will just, you know, stop you all going stir crazy with me.
if I find another purpley one I will um, put it on there but at the moment it will do I'll see if I can find some more stuff to put on my little tab thing because I say watched Rachel's and she's been putting quite a almost like a cluster on them so um, Lord only knows how long that video is let me have a look and I will give you a close-up of what I have done and then yeah it tinkles nicely it's quite a hairy wool so it's not just bits hanging off but right let me get you up close and personal so there we are holy moly an hour <laughs> anyway there it is for now um yeah i'm gonna kind of work on i, I don't know i have got some nice little mini suffolk puffs i'm gonna find those i think and put some of those on and i definitely need to stamp some snowflakes because i had planned to do that and i forgot anyway i hope that wasn't too long for you you'll have to let me know if you don't mind these longer ones but um yeah anyway i'll come back with another one see you on the next one bye i forgot to do the close-up i do apologize as you can see actually i've added some lace down the edge and a piece of lace that was dyed pink um so yeah there's the tree looks a bit higgledy do, piggledy do, but i think it's fun so yeah i'll add this on the end of the main video okay i'll see you in a bit for the tag bye